Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to use my APIs to convert CSV files into XML or JSON uh, so you can use in your Flex or Flash applications. Uh, I decided to make these because ever since I started learning uh, Flex and ActionScript, everyone was asking how to convert CSVs to XML or something that Flex can read and I was having that same problem too so I worked on these and it's been working out pretty good so let's bring up a new project do a flex project CSV to XML and we'll hit finish here alright so now that we have this up we need to start a HTTP service so first thing is we'll add it here and then give this an ID of CSV XML alright and we'll need a URL for this and we'll just call it my URL and then we'll close this tag uh, my URL needs to be in braces, curly brackets. All right, so now we have to define this variable here. So let's give us some room and go into our script tags. And here we want to make a bindable private variable. So private var my URL and this will be a string and we want this to equal we will go to api.crosby.michael.com and we'll scroll down here to the CSV to XML and we will copy this right here So now let's paste it into here, finish up our quotes, and put our thing there. So now this uh, URL is to the PHP file, which will convert all the CSV to XML, and it has two parameters that needs, need to be passed in. One is key, the other is URL. A uh, key is when you go here you can apply for a key and uh, all you have to do is put in your email address and then a key will be emailed to you and that's it so after you get a key let me find mine alright now if you check your email you should have the key so we'll paste that in there all right, and now URL is the path to your CSV file. You, you can get a CSV file can be anywhere as long as it's hosted online. So if it's from another site where you're grabbing data from, if it's on your own site, or if you just need to put one in your public folder of your Dropbox, you just copy the link here. So we'll shoot over to Yahoo Finance and type in any ticker you want and we'll go to historical prices and they have all this data that you see here in CSV format if we right click and hit copy link address on this download to spreadsheet so now we'll replace this URL with what we just copied and we're done with that so now let's go into design and add us a data grid where we'll display all this information so just find data grid drag it on there and it's already set up for three columns which is fine we'll just show three so now on the data grid we need to add a data provider and this is our HTTP service so CSV XML 
but we need to have this bound to the last result and the way the API for, formats it, the first tag is item dot items. So this will get the last result of items dot items. And then for the fields in the API, they're labeled field and then zero through how many, however many fields you have in your document. So this one would have seven fields, so it'd be zero through six. So on the data field, we want to put field zero, one, two. All right. So the last thing we have to do is we have to call this service. So the one of the easiest ways to do it is at a creation complete and we'll just call that in it for our initial call and we'll add a private function in it. It doesn't return anything and you can see these two match up. So now we need to just call our HTTP service so CSV XML dot send empty parameters and that's all so now let's debug this right, now what did I do wrong variable items not defined I believe we have to put this in braces Okay, let's run this again. And now we have our data grid, and it's calling all that data. And we have an easy XML where Flash reads it just fine. And it did take a little while to populate this, but that's because we have every day from 1993 to 2007. So for that much data for it to parse, uh, that's not a bad time. And I'm continually working on optimizing the code. And uh, if the domain gets higher, I'll get faster servers. But I'll keep working on the code and see if we can squeeze out every bit of performance. So you can see we have all the data. So there you have it. If you want to use these APIs, just go to api.crosby.michael.com. Head down here and submit your email, and a key will be emailed to you, and use them in all your projects. So thanks.